members were promised that uh, their loved ones would not be moved against their will. And we know that the population that, uh, in the community of Mitchell Centre has been declining. Everybody understands that that's, that's sort of the process. And we're caught by complete surprise when all of a sudden the government decided it's going to close it outright. Um, so, you know, it's, a, it's unfortunate that, that more public facilities aren't available to provide the excellent care. Uh, but we, uh, we also know that the plan for Mitchell was to keep it running until it was no longer uh, had any clients. Keep Mitchell open! 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 Therefore, we have resolved that the Council of the City of Red Deer send a letter to the Government of Alberta urging that the order to close the Mitchell Center be rescinded to allow the residents to continue their lives in peace, dignity, and respect at their current home, Mitchell Center. But this is a tale of broken promises about flesh, bone, hearts, human beings that were given a promise. In 2008, under moving ahead, we were given a promise, it's written, it's passed, it was approved at a ministerial level that no one would be forced to leave Mishner Center. And this is something that they must be held accountable to. We know that Mishner is not an institution, it's been a community of care. It has been a community of care for years and will continue to be a community of care. If Mr. Oberly wants to use the I word, then I would suggest ignorance. The, the patients and the members of this community, we stand strong beside you. Thank you. We stop them from closing Alberta Hospital in Edmonton, and by golly, we can stop them from closing Mission Center in Red Hill. matter. This is sometimes there are things that are just not about money. This is one of them. We need to do what's right and we will support you.